Hello everyone, my name is Adi Johan and today I have a short video for you. In this video, I will show you how to create a basic blends of template, which is very important and I hope you will find it useful. A few days before, I shared a post on my LinkedIn and asked people to advise and recommend which blends of template they would like me to make a video. Many people commented and suggested MEP, Mechanical, Electrical and Plumbing. However, this video covers a basic plan shift template for pipe work, but the principles are same. If you want to create a template for duct work, for cabling or anything else, even architecture and structure as well. But if you have a suggestions in the future, let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to make a video on that. Now, without any delay, let's get started. So on the screen right now, you can see I have opened a plan shift. So before we learn the plan shift template, let's just understand the challenge. So if you are a quantity surveyor, either you work in mechanical, electrical or plumbing domain and you want to create a tool, takeoff tool. So you click here and then you give a name here, let's say pipe and then you type the name here pipe 25 mm. It's not just the text that you need to type here. There is a description that is also attached that is involved there is a specification there is a rate and there are several other things that are also uh, you need to consider every time so later if you change the pipe name it's not the pipe name that you change of course there are so many things as well so it's always challenging it's not only piping what about the duct sizes the different duct sizes as well there are different cables as well so it's a bit challenging and it's again it's a basic template but can be applied in other domains as well so what if you have a template on the right side when you click on that it will remain open here pipe you can type the name but you will have a list here the moment you click here 50 or 80 by default you won't see anything here but when you choose when you apply the setting and press ok you will see automatically the pipe sizes are here so it's not only saving the time for you so you can save some time to avoid the typing it's a description and there's so many other things that are also attached and also one important thing that is keeping the standard maintaining the standard so if you're working in a form where are five to six quantity surveyor work parallelly on you know same project you're also working on a pipe other person maybe also work on maybe ground or second floor one person give a name pipe 25 other person give a name 25 pipe and third person gave a name pipe 25 for firefighting and fourth person may give pipe 25 for first floor so there is no one standard it's not aligned it's later on it will be very difficult so once again it's not only the time that you're saving is to to avoid the typing it's beneficial in so many ways that looks simple but it's very beneficial so how to create this one i will show you from the scratch but if you are new to plan shift if you haven't watched the video there are several videos on my youtube channel i will recommend you to click on a playlist and you will find proper you know way to, to reach the proper video plans of training plans of template plans of quantity swing so you should watch those and also if you have some question don't hesitate to reach out through social media pages instagram linkedin i'm mostly active on those and i try my best to reply everyone anyways so how to create the template that's the question so click here template tab i will show you step by step you just need to follow with the patience and you will get the same so by default you will not see sadi here of course you need to click create a new tab click here new tab give a name whatever you like let's say test you can type your own name there is nothing here if you don't like these tabs you can just hold and drop outside if you want to bring it back you can just check here this basic things important so you will know later on so how to add a new template so right now our concern is pipe that is linear so I should click here but let's say if you are dealing with door sizes if you're dealing with columns you will you can create by following the same principle through count if you are you know maybe area ceiling flooring different so you can click here but once again it's a pipe so we will just focus on that so I will click here linear software will ask us what's the name I give a name here pipe press ok so 
I save this here I can even continue my further customization but I always recommend you to save at the same time the reason is uh, sometimes software is stuck it hanged and it closed and you will not have a chance to even save limited settings It's always important you can save multiple time if you're creating a bigger template where it requires some time So it's better to save after every you know milestone So this these are the things that I recommend you based on my experience So I will right click and property and edit now so click here properties uh, if you have seen my previous video, you know that there are different groups item group estimating their different groups and Under each group you have a different properties name is a property description is a property quantity is a property and under each property You have different formulas and multiple things. We will not uh, spend more time uh, Understanding those if you just follow the the steps that I'm showing you you will have the same template so we need another property I'm going to create a property for size it's not important to type the same name but at least you should have a unique name later on you can create the same for overhead as well you can create it for another purpose as well so let's keep it for now size uh, just give a name then uh, another suggestion I'm keep giving you suggestion because once again just to avoid the challenges or difficulty that you may face later on imagine if you type here quantity or something a name that is already existing it makes no sense to give a name quantity but still if you give any property name that is existing it can cause a problem so give any name size still it's acceptable or you know whatever <laughs> but still don't give a name that is already existing that's the important thing size 2 size 3 whatever then the type why it is important because if it's size let's say 25 only it's a number if it's size 32 it's a number but if it's 25 mm if you're going to type that the description as well beside 25 mm and this is the material type so it's important to choose the text type otherwise you may face the see the error then the third is group where you want to keep it it doesn't matter in which group you keep because at then the formula and integration is important but I will recommend you once again to keep it in the same group when you have so many items so many uh, properties sometimes we get confused what are the properties that we have selected so it's better to keep it in estimating or oh, sorry in an item let's just keep estimating you will understand you see here it's here right now so but I want to keep it beside my name and description so right click property and let's just change it to item and it will appear here automatically there are a few more settings that I want you to see and learn uh, tool hint so I will give a name here what is the pipe size why I give a hint and where it will appear so in future if you hold your cursor let me just show you now if you hold your cursor here it show you the hint like what is the pipe size but you might be wondering I am the one who created this template why I need a hint imagine if you created a template and share it with your colleague he is confused what he's supposed to type here it's not only size later you will have many properties here so one line hint can save the time for others as well and can uh, avoid the confusion so this is why so right click properties that's why I type the hint then another thing decimal point how many points do you need it after the decimal two is fine if you want you can have more so these are the basic settings that is important now the pipe sizes that you want to appear as a list so you can copy and paste from Excel as well and uh, but if you don't have it you can just type it now 32 let's just start from 25 32 course you can have it more as well it could be duck sizes by the way it can be cable type as well and even you can have more pipe size and type a b c and whatever you can add more press ok now you will see the size it appear here uh, but by default you will not you are not able to select the pipe sizes if you really want software to show you beside the color and fill type you need to press this button check when it's check it will automatically appear here fine advanced there are few more settings uh, 
that is not important at this stage that if you want to define the units you can but it's not important here and there is a reason because we have already mentioned 25 mm so it's not important but still you can use it now the challenge is whenever I choose 525 or 40 it is not appearing here and I might be confused later on if software will show me only the name pipe 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 how am I supposed to know is it 525 30 or 40 so for that purpose we have to integrate how hold the, the hold this property and drop it here so you see here automatically it appear later if you change it it's 65 and if it's 80 it will automatically reflect there one suggestion is you can add a space and try to avoid anything else here if you type here maybe plus subtraction or anything else try to not use anything else let's keep it simple that way so uh, we have linked the cell it is also appearing here if you want to keep it blank just to avoid uh, the mistake in future so it's better to keep it blank so software will never show you any suggestion it will remain open now if you want the size to appear beside the name you have a color fill type let's keep it beside the name so you can click here advance click here form layout find the size property here you go you can see here it's on the fourth row select move up you can see when I click here it move up when I click here move down fine it is beside it sorry it's under the name right now if you want it in a same row check this option and you will see it's in the same row fine if it's okay press ok form and you can see name size it's all okay this is how we want now press ok your template is ready by the way if you want to share this template with your colleague you can import and export the tab the tab that you have created and you can share with your colleague there are several other ways as well but this is one of them okay home tab we have the template it is here on the right side when I click here software will ask what is the name so we can simply click on this list we can pick the name let's say it's 100 we can choose the specific color press ok so you can see here 100 pipe is created so I save my time not to type the correct spelling or correct name I kept the and I maintain the standard so uh, if we are working for to five engineer we all mention the same name 500 so it's easy for us to, later on to track and uh, supervise and review the quantities stop you have the quantity so this is the way you can have as many you want later it's 525 follow the same process 32 and has as many you want okay fine and it will appear here in legend as well as you can see here fine now this quantity if you want to see an estimating tab it will appear here but what if you want to change the pipe size there are several ways you can right click property and you can change here it will work let's say it's 50 you can see it's changed it's 25 it's changed but what if you want to see it here by default beside the quantity in unit by default you won't see it so click here column and add column another suggestion do not edit your existing property just create a new column add a new column and then give a name here size second suggestion keep the name same if you're confused if you forgot close here go back and try to find the exact name otherwise software will not show you the result third suggestion keep the first character capital as you can see all the characters are capital fourth suggestion keep the data type relevant if it's number keep it number if it's text keep it text once it's done close you will see it appear automatically how you can change it so click here and then give a pause maybe one second and then click again you will see this list will appear and you can change it one time and then click again after a second and then you will be able to change it so this is one of the quickest way to change the quantity I hope uh, you will be able to create the same template by following the same strategies by following the same footsteps once again it's not limited to pipes it could be cable ducting and anything else but this is how it work so that's all if you have a suggestion if you want me to create more plans of template uh, share your comments I will read and I'll try my best to make more videos in future 
So that's it everyone. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.